Our next guest ruled daytime TV for 11 years. In the 90s, cha-cha'd her way back into our hearts on Dancing with the Stars. Also, launching a new talk show. Please welcome the singular Ricky Lake. <laughs> bits for that section over there. Sorry. <laughs> Ratings, baby. We're into yeah, it. Yeah, you know, I'm doing everything to help you guys out. <laughs> Thank you. It's a hey, pleasure to be here today. Well, you are a friend of ours and a friend personally, and I didn't realize doing the research you were only 24 I know. when you started the How talk show. How presumptuous for me to assume, you know, they handed me the microphone, and back in the day, I really honestly pretended to be Oprah. I would sit there and think, <laughs> what would Oprah Did ask? you, like, study her old shows? Well, I was a huge fan. I grew up watching her. I grew up watching Phil Donahue, and so when they gave me this job, I mean, I honestly I thought because they gave me the job, of course I can do this. Yeah. And I yeah. love talk television, but I honestly didn't know what I was doing. I sort of love that innocence because ignorance is bless. Because if you I had still known, have it, <laughs> I think I still, like, every phase, I mean, Dancing with the Stars is the perfect example. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And you're right, ignorance is bliss. But sometimes. then you start putting those phases together, and you do sort of, now you can bring a, a, a worldliness to a, a program, and it probably opens up, I'm going to guess, for your new show, the topics that you're going to cover. Absolutely, life experience. You know, through mistakes that you make, you pick yourself. Up. I mean, all of it. My triumphs and my and my, you know, hardships. I think have made me a better host this time around because I really have a, a sense of relatability that I think people, you know, at 24, you don't really have a point of view. You don't really know who you are. Right. And I think not that I've sure. figured it out yet. I mean, I'm very much open about the fact that I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. I kind of love that though, because I think so, so many of us, men and women, can relate. It's yeah. a journey, you know. It as Robin is. always like says. Robin said this morning, it's and the I was journey, not the so destination. grateful to be here this morning. I'm wearing my bracelet and um, uh, my prayers and thoughts are with her. She's a very special woman, but what she said, it's you're right, it's not about the destination, it is about the journey. And I'm so lucky that I've, been, I've grown up in front of all of these people. I did my first movie, Hairspray at 18, and did the, my show for 11 years, and now I'm back, and I feel like in many ways I'm better than I've ever been. I'm happier than I've ever been. Yeah. I'm in a healthy relationship for the first time in my life. But, um, but and I'm you still look trying great. to figure it all out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't look like I did when I was here in November with Dancing with the Stars. Have you put on some weight since Dancing well, with the Stars? Yeah, I mean, yes. How I don't know if it's. Not? I, how could I not? Hours Thank you, a day. Josh. It's okay. I mean, I honestly, I said after the fact, I was like, I'm going to keep this up. I'm going to keep this up. But I'm not dancing with Derek Huff anymore. Yeah. I'm, I'm dancing with someone else, but it's not quite the exercise that, oh, I, uh, oh. that I, <laughs> I had on that show. Oh, well. You know, I know this is daytime, but they, they call it the dance of love. <laughs> yes. That's right. Um, can you, can you, do you have time for a game? Yeah, I want to play. I love a good game. All right, good. Everybody yell it with me. Have they been primed, Scotty? Yes. Right, so Let's do go. it. All right. We're going to play Kiss, Marry, Dish. Nicely right. done. Yeah. Oh. Now, do I get up? Do I get up? All right. Oh this is a new twist. Yeah, somebody has inserted himself. That was, that was not supposed to happen. But you're going back into the world of daytime TV, so we're going to give you three options from the world. Uh, these guys of look daytime familiar. TV, yes. Um, Lara, our first contestant is whom? Our first contestant, as you can see, uh, has always caused controversy on his talk show. Um, but we do so love him, Geraldo Rivera. Oh. I love him. Our, I see a chair coming his way. Our <laughs> second contestant, he, he ruled the airwaves right alongside Ricky here for 17 years. He's been on the program with us here on GAA. He is Montel. He's a sweetheart. Yeah. Contestant. Most eligible bachelor. Oh. We, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think oh, you know him. Uh, Josh Elliott yeah. of Good Afternoon America. Yeah. Well, Are you really blushing? Yes, I really am. <laughs> so, yes. uh, that was supposed to be Maury Povich. Come on over here. <laughs> the idea is that you have to, there, you know, there's another version of this game that we, we can't say on the air. So okay. this is our version. You have to kiss somebody. You have to marry somebody. This looks like something else. And, but okay. No. <laughs> and, you have to, and you have to ditch somebody. <laughs> okay. Put it this way. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> so who will it be? Who will you kiss? Okay. Who will you marry, and who will you All ditch? All right, Josh, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to kiss Montel. Oh, okay. Oh. okay there you go. I, I, there. I kiss Montel. He's a good kisser. All right, so who will you marry? Well, I, I, I mean, it's no secret. I told you, I don't want to get myself in trouble with my husband. I'm newly married and very happy, but <laughs> no. And a mensch, 
Fresh, and yeah. we did Oprah together about a year and a half ago. But I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. Fresh, <laughs> fresh out of veils, Geraldo. Yeah. Fresh out of veils. Can I keep the veil? Here uh, comes the bride. Hey, it's the Ricky Lake oh, Show. It <laughs> premieres Monday, September 10th. Uh, thank you.